16 members and we started this group the year 2004 and what makes us came together is that all of us were HIV positive so at first we met at Lea Toto, Lea Toto is a clinic around us here. So when we met there, uh, Lea Toto is a community based program. Mm -hmm. We take care of children who are HIV positive. So among us we have children who are HIV positive. Mm -hmm. So we used to take them there for medication. Then we met as fathers and we became with the idea to form the group. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why we became with the idea to form the group, there was a lot of stigma and discrimination. Mm -hmm. And we realized through us we can make a change in the community. So we formed the group to create awareness in the community. Community to understand better what HIV is and how you can be infected. Mm. So we did door to door awareness, mm -hmm. health talk in facilities, mm -hmm. in schools and in churches mm -hmm. for a period of two years. Mm -hmm. After two years, stigma and discrimination reduced and then we decided not to part ways. Let us be together mm. like before. And that is whereby we became with the idea to start a group business. Oh. The reason why we decided to start a group business, as the same, same time we want to show the community, to be HIV positive is not the end of life. Yeah. Life must, must mm. continue. And we are able to do something to take care of our children. Yeah. And that is whereby the name power came from. Whether we are HIV positive, we still have power to do our own things. Mm. So, uh, before we started, uh, first we decided to save, whereby we decided every meeting, every member, you carry 10 shillings. We collect it and we kept it with our treasurer. For a period of three months, it was 3,000. And we were, uh, our idea is to start uh, doing bid work. Uh, because, yes. yeah. The reason why we became with the idea to start a video, uh, because by that time we were weak. Uh, we have some side effects in our mm -hmm. bodies like rashes, so it was not easy to start like uh, selling vegetables. Nobody could come and, and, and buy. Mm -hmm. So we decided to start a video. So our main idea was to uh, uh, make, making a symbol of HIV, red ribbon. Uh, we do it for a year mm -hmm. and uh, after a year we realized that this, this red ribbon we could only sell it once per year on AIDS World's Day on December 1st. Yeah. After that occasion there was no market. So we decided to do other things which we can sell every day. So later we chip in in tailoring. So uh, you can see these are the fabric from West Africa, some from Nigeria, Ghana. So out of them we can make bags, uh, shirts. They are beautiful, yeah. really beautiful. Kitchen aprons, yeah. small purses. So on top of that, before COVID, we decided to give back to the community. Uh, so we decided, to, because we have skills, and we, it, is, it is better to share the skills we have with the, with the young mothers. So we decided to train them in tailoring and in big work. So uh, we decided to train them for a period of six months. After six months, they graduated and they can go outside to look for a job. So when, when COVID stepped, uh, we, we decided to stop because of the situation mm -hmm. and social distance. So, but when things will become better, we we'll still continue to give back to the community. We also recycling magazine into a paper bin. We met a friend from Uganda. She visited us here like we do today and she was able to train us how to recycling magazine into a paper bin. So this is how we do it. First we do the measurements like this. Then we cut them into pieces. We cut them in horizontal. You can see those lines are yeah. horizontal lines. Yeah. So when you are cutting, you cut them in horizontal. Yeah. Huh. Like that? Yes. After that, we round them. So when we round, it gets like this. Hold on. You made this from this? Yes. My God. So, 
This is beautiful. I'm <laughs> I am satisfied. You're satisfied. You're good. They look like beans. Yeah, they look like beans. You guys are doing a good job. This is okay. So you put them into this. Yeah. So after all, we put them on a long string like this. Then we are very hand. Oh. Three times. First foot, second foot, and third foot. After that, when it is fine, we can measure the uh, length. Uh, so, like this one here is um, 10 pieces you put together, then you roll together and it becomes the length. This is this. It, it, this is amazing. My gosh. <laughs> this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Well done. This is so much work. Is there a way you kind of market it? So until people come in here before you are able to um, sell it? Uh, what we normally do, we, we partner with uh, uh, people who are uh, like Kibera Tours, Explo Explo oh, Kibera. Yeah, so yeah. when they have... Um, they bring them here. Yeah, they bring them here. And when, and when they bring them here, we also get people who are in touch to go back and sell back to their families. So that is how we get connected. It's like right now we have um, like four people who are um, selling our products. We have one in Sweden, uh, two in the US. That's what we call absolute market. That's really market. I love it. I used to have a bag like this. So we also have a little budget. We decided to buy our chickens. Uh -huh. <laughs> And you sell these? No, they are for producing eggs. So oh, broilers. Yeah. So when they make eggs, no, you sell no. the eggs? Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm, I'm amazed. How much do these bags go for? 2,000. 2,000? Yes. Guys, this is 2,000 Kenyan shillings. This is like $20. Yes. And uh, I'm not sure how much in Naira. Well, it doesn't cost a lot. This, if you come to Nairobi, make sure you stop by Kibera. If you need to get here, call me. Send me an email. You need to get stuff like this. Very beautiful stuff. Extremely beautiful. All handmade. This is wonderful. Please, let's see the beautiful women behind this. We need to see. Like, I'm shocked. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>